the world's largest free trade pact, the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement, takes effect on January 1, 2022, injecting impetus to further regional economic integration. The RCEP comprises 10 ASEAN members plus China, Japan, the Republic of Korea, Australia, and New Zealand, and covers about 30% of the world's population, 30% of the world's gross domestic product, and 30% of global trade. It's dubbed the world's largest free trade agreement. Since Saturday, the RCEP will progressively phase out most of the tariffs on imports between signatories. If we look at the number, you can see that around 90% of the total goods that trade between each other, the tariff will be eliminated to zero. Meaning of RCEP is very clear. Uh, so through RCEP, we can enjoy a decreased uh, tariffs and uh, uh, non-tariff uh, regulation. Besides tariffs, the RCEP will set up common rules for e-commerce, trade, and intellectual property, which will largely boost investment, further integrate industrial and supply chains, better protect investors, and facilitate the movement of goods, funds, and people across the region. Efficient, accelerated, streamlined, harmonized, convenient are the most frequent words used by many to describe the regional trade under the RCEP. If we only have bilateral agreements between countries, they become a spaghetti bowl of overlapping agreements. Or well, RCEP tends to unravel a lot of the um, discriminatory and distortionary nature of the trade. When we have this trade agreement, we have a common goal of development. Now, after the beginning of the RCEP, we can omit uh, such a complicated uh, uh, procedure. We can enjoy uh, such a uh, convenient regulation. Then it uh, uh, causes uh, uh, more convenient, more efficient trade among uh, RCEP countries. There are also uh, harmonized rules and regulations uh, try to facilitate trade and investment. For example, uh, there's also an uh, agreement with regarding the custom procedures to perhaps uh, try to streamline and fasten uh, the custom procedure process. The accumulation provisions of the rules of origin under the RCEP are expected to knit the economies in the region closer together, as the provisions allow companies to source raw materials from within the block, with their final product enjoying low or no tariff. For our 或者有些樱花it will help level the development rates between the developed and developing countries. In Cambodia, we have market size around 15 million people, and the purchasing power is around 9 million people. But once we implement the regional comprehensive economic partnership, so we expand our market to uh, 15 countries. So the market size, including China, is around 2.2 million people. We expect that the export, annual export will increase from 9.4% uh, to 18%. And the job opportunity annually will increase from 3.2% to 6.2%. A 
common market created under RCEP is expected to be a shot in the arm for the regional and even the global recovery from the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. I think the start of RCEP on January 1, uh, 2022 is perfect timing for the Philippines and for the rest of Asia because we are starting to have strong economic recovery and also recovery from the global pandemic. Post-COVID world, we need to cooperate in order to ensure rapid economic recovery. There's, there's so much more to be gained by cooperating rather than by standing apart or creating division um, between countries and economies. The, the Māori of, of, um, of our country, Aotearoa New Zealand, um, have a saying, nā tō rōrō, nā taku rōrō, ka ora ai teiwi. And what that means with your food basket and my food basket, we, the, the people will thrive.